Hi, great that you join us. In this mission, you're going to discover how you can teach a robot what he has to do. In other words, we're going to code a paper robot. In order to make a robot do what you want him to do, you will have to tell him exactly what to do. We call this programming or coding. There are movies in which robots sometimes look and act just like people. They think and do everything by themselves. But robots only function if, once upon a time, they have been told or taught by a coder exactly what they have to do. Robots operate according to certain agreements or instructions that are programmed within him. They are very good at that, but it can also create problems. Suppose that a coder gives the wrong instructions. Then the code malfunctions. It crashes. Surely that has happened to you once or twice, an app that crashed suddenly. Nothing worked anymore and the only thing you could do was close down the app and start it up again. Coders have a name for such a wrong instruction. It's called a bug. So it is very important when you code a robot that you give it the correct instructions and you do this step by step. First, you take the print with the cards and cut them out. You can pause this video while you take care of that. Now we are going to write a program, or just program, a paper bot. You do that by placing the cards in the correct order. First, choose the bot that you want to build for your robot. I choose this one. Now the program. What should the robot be able to do? First cut, fold, and then glue. I take these three cards. What do you think? Would that be a good program? Let's just test it out ourselves. I'm going to pretend I'm the robot. Okay, that had a few bugs already. What do you think went wrong? That's right, we did not give the robot all the necessary commands, like he had to go pick up a pair of scissors before he could start cutting. Your assignment is now to write a program that does work correctly. For instance, take a pair of scissors. You could put that card with the command here, but you're not done yet. Try to improve your program step by step and have your robot test it all the time to see if it works already. I'm very curious to see if you're going to be successful to put down the cards in such a way, to program your robot in such a way, that you can make a paper bot. If you are successful in writing a good program, you press play again. And did it work? I'm very curious. My program looks like this. Get paper, get scissors, cut out, put away scissors, fold edges, get glue, glue the edges, put away glue, and glue together. And this is the result. Maybe your solution is different, and that's just fine. In coding, there are often several good solutions. You have discovered that robots can work according to certain agreements or instructions that are programmed into him. And it is important that all these instructions are very clear and that you give them step by step. If you haven't done it yet, you can execute your program now. Put your paper bot aside so it can dry and then color it beautifully. Of course, you may also draw your own paper bot or make another one of the others. Great that you joined us and see you next time at the next mission.